Everything you thought you knew about full-frame cameras is about to become obsolete. Right now, in the secretive labs of Sony, a monster is being perfected. A camera so powerful, so advanced, that it doesn't just compete with the market, it destroys it. For years, the R in the A7R series stood for resolution. But with the upcoming Sony A7R6, Sony is changing the rules of the game. We aren't just talking about a few more megapixels or a slightly faster autofocus. We are talking about a generational leap that will make even the most expensive medium format cameras look like toys from the past decade. Welcome to my channel tech launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. If you are a professional photographer, a high-end filmmaker, or just a tech enthusiast who demands the absolute best, you need to stop what you're doing and pay very close attention. Because what I'm about to reveal regarding the leaked specs, the secret price, and the radical new sensor technology of the A7R6 will change the way you think about digital imaging forever. The industry has been buzzing with rumors, but recent leaks from reliable supply chain insiders in Japan have given us a clear picture of what's coming. The heart of this beast is rumored to be a staggering 99 to 100 megapixel XMR R stacked sensor. Just let that sink in for a moment. 100 megapixels in a compact, full-frame body. For the longest time, hitting the 100 mil mark was the exclusive territory of Fujifilm and Hasselblad's massive medium format systems. But Sony has cracked the code. They've managed to pack that level of detail into the E-mount system we already know and love. This isn't just about being able to crop into a photo of a bird from a mile away, though you certainly can do that. It's about the sheer dynamic range and the tonal transitions that only a sensor of this density can provide. Imagine capturing a landscape where the shadows are as clean as the highlights, where every leaf on a distant tree is rendered with surgical precision. This is the death of the medium format as we know it. But here is the catch that most people are missing. More megapixels usually means slower speeds. That's been the trade-off since the dawn of digital photography. Not anymore. Sony is reportedly pairing this massive sensor with the next-generation Bion's 11 processor, a chip that is rumored to be three times faster than anything we've seen in the A1 or the A7RV. This allows the A7R6 to handle massive data throughput, enabling blackout-free continuous shooting at 20 frames per second at full 100 megapixel resolution. Think about that. You are effectively shooting a high-resolution cinema quality film every time you hold down the shutter. To manage this insane amount of data, Sony is moving to a quad CFX Express type A slot system. It's a bold move that signals this camera is built for one thing only, absolute performance without bottlenecks. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, video. The A7R series was always the stills first camera, while the S series took care of the video. But the A7R6 is blurring those lines until they disappear. Leaks suggest internal 8K 60p recording at 4.2.2 10-bit. And before you ask, no, it won't melt in your hands. Sony has allegedly developed a revolutionary internal liquid cooling vapor chamber, similar to what you find in high-end gaming laptops. This means you can shoot 8K60 for over an hour without a single overheating warning. But the real shocker? Internal ProRes RAW and 16-bit RAW output. This is a spec sheet that belongs on a Venice cinema camera, yet it's being tucked into a mirrorless body. If you're a hybrid shooter, the A7R6 isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete production studio. The autofocus system is also getting a terrifyingly intelligent upgrade. We've seen AI-driven AF in the A7RV, but the 6 is taking it to a level that feels like science fiction. Sony is calling it Cognitive Autofocus 2.0. It doesn't just recognize eyes and faces, it predicts human and animal motion based on skeletal structures and environmental context. If a bird flies behind a thicket of trees, the camera knows exactly where it will emerge and has the focus waiting for it. It recognizes insects, vehicles, and even specific types of aircraft with 99% accuracy. It's almost like the camera is reading the scene before you even press the button. For sports and wildlife photographers, this is the cheat code you've been waiting for. But what about the body itself? Professionals have been asking for better ergonomics, and Sony has listened. The A7R6 is rumored to feature a slightly larger, deeper grip and a 9.44 million dot EVF with a 240Hz refresh rate. Looking through this viewfinder will feel more like looking through a window than a screen. 
The 4-axis multi-angle LCD screen is also getting a brightness boost, making it perfectly visible even under the harsh midday sun of the California desert. And for those who work in rugged environments, the weather ceiling has been redesigned from the ground up to meet IP54 standards. Dust, rain, or snow, this camera is built to survive the field. Now, let's address the part that will make your heart race, the price and the release window. Quality like this doesn't come cheap. Reliable sources are pointing towards a launch price of $4,499 to $5,499. While that might seem steep, when you compare it to the $10,000 plus price tags of medium format systems that it actually outperforms, it starts to look like a bargain for the professional. As for the date, keep your calendars clear for Q4 2025. Sony is expected to make the official announcement in November, just in time to dominate the holiday season and set the tone for 2026. So, the big question remains, should you wait for the A7R6 or buy the A7RV now? If you need a camera today for your business, the A7RV is still an incredible machine. But if you want to be at the absolute cutting edge of what is technologically possible, if you want a camera that won't be obsolete for the next decade, then you wait. The A7R6 isn't just a new model, it's the beginning of a new era. It's the camera that finally proves that full frame has no limits. The resolution war is over, and Sony just dropped the ultimate weapon. The only question left is, are you ready to handle this much power? Because once you see the files coming out of this 100 megapixel beast, there is no going back. Your workflow, your art, and your expectations will be changed forever. Stay tuned, because the future of photography is arriving sooner than you think. Kin for a moment. 100 megapixels in a compact, full-frame body. For the longest time, hitting the 100 mil mark was the exclusive territory of Fujifilm and Hasselblad's massive medium format systems. But Sony has cracked the code. They've managed to pack that level of detail into the E-mount system we already know and love. This isn't just about being able to crop into a photo of a bird from a mile away, though you certainly can do that. It's about the sheer dynamic range and the tonal transitions that only a sensor of this density can provide. Imagine capturing a landscape where the shadows are as clean as the highlights, where every leaf on a distant tree is rendered with surgical precision. This is the death of the medium format as we know it. But here is the catch that most people are missing. More megapixels usually means slower speeds. That's been the trade-off since the dawn of digital photography. Not anymore. Sony is reportedly pairing this massive sensor with the next-generation Bion's 11 processor, a chip that is rumored to be three times faster than anything we've seen in the A1 or the A7RV. This allows the A7R6 to handle massive data throughput, enabling blackout-free continuous shooting at 20 frames per second at full 100 megapixel resolution. Think about that. You are effectively shooting a high-resolution cinema-quality film every time you hold down the shutter. To manage this insane amount of data, Sony is moving to a quad CFEX Express Type A slot system. It's a bold move that signals.